that is a very rare rucksack tree. It's, uh, it's, it's native to here in South Armagh, guys, and we are very lucky to see it because today it is actually flowering. <laughs> Stay tuned. These are my rucksacks. Let us have a look at them. Let us talk about them. Uh, and let's see what you think and which is my favorite, okay? There's a lot to go through here. There is a lot, and there's some serious history here as well, so. I get them down in the ground. We'll talk about them. Check out this bad boy right here. This is my biggest rucksack. Uh, and this is the French. I was, I was calling it the F2, guys, but I actually believe that this is the F3. Let me. This has got a lot of good stuff going on with it, guys, I have to say. And I was looking at it there, right? And it is an external frame pack, right? And I didn't actually realize that. And I actually think that you could probably remove this. Now, you would destroy the rucksack, but if you had a rucksack that was destroyed, I think that you could probably remove this frame and you could use it on likes of the Alice pack and stuff like that. This is an incredibly comfortable frame, uh, incredibly comfortable pads and straps and stuff like that. And it is all quick release, look. Bags on your back, you need to get the hell out of there. Bang, off it goes. Ta -da. Now, question for you guys out there from I, I thought this was the F2 pack, right? When, when I got it, I think it was actually advertised as the F2 pack, but the F2 does not have these Molly on the front, okay? It's got really bright there, hang on. It doesn't have these, this, this, this Molly on the front here, guys. Now, I am unsure of the size of this pack. I have a funny feeling that the pa this this pack itself, as it is, right, is 80 liters, is 80 liters. Now, I could very easily fit all those packs and more into this bag, right? So this is 80 liters, but you can add pouches on the side and stuff, and apparently it goes up to 120 liters. Or is it 100 liters and it goes up to 120 liters? I don't know. Comments below, guys, and, le and, uh, and, and let me know the crack. This thing is adjustable on the back, right? And I have owned this probably for about two years, and I would say I have used it once, okay? This is a very underused pack. Uh, at the minute, do you know what? I was gonna say something there, but I'm gonna save that for another video, and it's about me looking for another pack. But what I think, no, I'll save that for the other video. Keep an eye out for that one, because it's going to be a good one. Okay, let's click her all back up together. Now, the pack I had before this, guys, was the US Marine Corps. I want to say Philby. It could be the Ilby. This is this is the thing. The old, the old, the old Marines can... Uh, they don't like changing stuff about, okay? So the, it was the Ilby or the Philby. It was not... It was not the Digicam one, it was the brown one. And it was a beast of a, of, of a pack. Uh, it was Molly 2 compatible. I had a Molly 2 frame on it that sort of fit. And it was actually this frame here that is on my, uh, that is on my Alice pack that you can see just right there, okay? This bag is incredible quality. It really is, guys. It, 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 is, it is really well made. It is full of all the bells and whistles that you would expect of uh, a very high-end civilian pack. It really is strong. I think this is... It's too hot for you, Bruno, isn't it? <laughs> I think this is made, this is actually a heavier duty Cordura than the Savoda pack. This is 1,100 denier Cordura. Okay, guys, look. 
waterproof bottom uh, one two two main sections this top here has the snow skirt and inside the snow skirt guys you can go down to about here to about here right and that's where the other internal skirt is so I think if this bag had compression straps on the side I'm sure you could probably put them on but if this bag had compression straps on the side I think this would be an absolutely amazing all-round bag because you can cinch it down and make it smaller otherwise at the minute I think this is this is a winter bag only this is absolutely massive I'll stuff it for you later on this is my least favorite bag guys and I recently did a video on this so I'm not really going to go over it too much but this is the snug pack uh, endurance 40 and I have to say that it is just it's a little bit too floppy now this is my main testing pack at the minute guys it has a bit of weight in it so it's a uh, it's 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 not stuffed but it has a bit of weight in it because it has some water and this when you put this on it just feels nice and comfy like straight away I just put it on there and I went hmm it's not bad not bad instant reaction feels nice and comfy sits well okay and this is of course uh, the, the Savota medium pack guys this is a nice little pack so far uh, it, it, it takes a lot of the boxes for me uh, in that it is it is uh, it's tough I like my bags to be tough I like them to be something that I am not worried about something that I'm not thinking to myself mm, if I stuff this if I overstuff this there's a chance that this might bust that is not what I need guys I don't know if you've ever had a rucksack or if you've ever been on a hike with somebody and the rucksack is bust it is an absolute disaster. It just, it's, 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 it's like your lace is breaking. It is just one of those things that you don't understand how much of a disaster it is until it actually happens, right? But this thing really feels like it could handle a lot. I just, I have two Dutch woodland pouches, two XL utility pouches on the side, just, just for testing. Uh, but it's really nice. It's really, really nice guys. And but is it just a day pack? This is the thing. Is it just a day pack? Is it too small for overnighters? Well, this 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 is what I want to find out over the summer, okay? And that's it there. Not a lot in it except uh, a water bottle uh, or a water bladder and a first aid kit. Off with you. Off with you, Bruno. Now this bad boy right here this is something that I was actually talking to somebody about today guys and this pack I have had this pack for 30 years <laughs> that says a lot about me I've had this actual pack for 30 years this pack has 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 traveled through the jungles of Costa Rica and Nicaragua it, it, it has been all over the place what's in the pocket charcoal God knows what you find in this thing. The Prosex. What's inside it? Oh. Ooh. Almonds. A bag of almonds. God knows when they went out of date. Uh, no, Bruno, you're not having them. Guys, this is, of course, a medium malice pack. But this is no normal medium malice pack, guys, because this is a medium malice pack with the Hellcat upgrades. Okay? So this is remarkably lightweight. Uh, it is very it's very comfy as well but the medium alice guys get back here it's only uh it's it's only a 39 liter pack okay so it's small right now i have tried to do overnighters in this uh, and I have found it to be a little bit 
too small. Same as same as the Savota, uh, may, maybe. Uh, now, and I did attach the sustainment pouches onto the side as well, you know, which which does bring it up. Uh, and what I find is, that, no, no, hang on, let, let me change that. Not a summer overnighter, a winter overnighter. There, there is a massive difference there, guys, between summer and winter overnight. Okay, and the main difference is being your sleep system because it takes up so much room, guys. So much room. Uh, it, 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 you know, so your extra clothes and you're all out there, jazz that, that you need with you on a winter thing, guys. That's what makes the difference, okay? And that is that is what I find is, is the main difference in all these bags. Now, I like this one, right? And I like this one in the summer. In the winter, if, if I'm wearing this, I can't wear my, 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 my belt rig unless I remove this, okay? And possibly I would have to take off part of this frame as well, okay? Because, because the frame itself rides so low, and I believe that the, what I remember from my old Alice pack frame is that it actually sat up a little bit higher like that and it's because the alice pack of course is a military bag and it is designed to sit on top of webbing of a belt webbing system okay anywho guys this is my favorite i love this alice pack it just has so many memories wrapped up in this bag uh, but like uh, my dad bought this for me years and years and years ago we got it in the army surplus shop I loved that shop, okay, and we used to go into it all the time and just be hooking through it for hours looking at the surplus and, and I remember getting this and being like, you know, I, I'm the same as all you guys. I grew up watching Vietnam War films and all and you loved all, all that sort of American style um, army surplus and stuff and, you know, um, the bit, the olive drab and all that there cracking. Guys, getting one of these was, for me, was so cool, you know, and I was in the Scouts at the time and it, it wasn't a very functional thing. There was no frame. There was no, there was, there was, it had the old Alice straps on it, you know, and they are ridiculously uncomfortable. Uh, but guys, this is obviously Hellcat, much, much better. But uh, what a great bag. Like they, it is, it is, they have, they have stood the test of time so well, so well. Like I, I was talking to, to my cousin who is, who is in the services in, in the States. And he was, I was, we were talking about rucksacks and stuff and bags and all. And he was saying, oh, boys, boys are all mad for Alice packs, you know. So that's, that's what they like to use because probably for the same reason as the Savota guys is that it is bomb proof. It is just one of these things that you, it's, you know, it's not going to break. Unless you, you like fill it full of explosives and blow it up. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Okay. They are my packs, uh, just a little bit of info about them guys. I have done a review on probably all these packs. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll make a little rucksack playlist for you guys so you can look through them uh, and let me know what you think. And guys, let me know what you think about your packs because this, this sort of rucksack backpack journey that I'm on at the minute guys, you are sent me some unbelievable packs that I just, I didn't even know these companies existed. So, you know, if there is something out there that you think I would like, shout it out in the comments and I'll have a look. Well, I'll try and have a look. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.